Hi, it's Pastor Ted um, for Prairie Lutheran Church's Devotions. And again, this week, um, I'll be looking at the passage of Scripture that we're going to be uh, talking about this weekend. I'll be bringing the message on Sunday morning. And um, it is about uh, Peter walking on water. And the passage of Scripture comes from Matthew chapter 14. Here, let me read it for you. Immediately, Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and go on ahead of him to the other side while he dismissed the crowd. After he had dismissed them, he went up on a mountainside by himself to pray. Later that night, he was there alone, and the boat was already a considerable distance from land, buffeted by the waves because the wind was against it. Shortly before dawn, Jesus went out to them, walking on the lake. When the disciples saw him walking on the lake, they were terrified. It's a ghost, they said, and cried out in fear. But Jesus immediately said to them, Take courage, it is I, don't be afraid. Lord, if it is you, Peter replied, tell me to come to you on the water. Come, Jesus said. Then Peter got down out of the boat, walked on the water, and came toward Jesus. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid, and beginning to sink, cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately Jesus reached out his hand and caught him. You of little faith, he said, why did you doubt? And when they climbed into the boat, the wind died down. Then those who were in the boat worshipped Jesus, saying, truly, you are the Son of God. I think one of the things that uh, we as disciples, followers of Jesus, can be guaranteed of, and that is challenges to our faith. I think for all of us, it's, it's a constant challenge to put our faith into action, to step out and do those things that we know Jesus is calling us to. And then sometimes in particular situations, Jesus is calling us specifically to do something. There's lots of things we just know that's what we as Christians are called to do. And those are challenging. And then like with Peter, in a very specific situation, Jesus calls us. Maybe it's our neighbor. Maybe it's walking across the room to reconcile with someone. Maybe it's demonstrating our understanding for somebody's position, thoughts, you know, opinion that we don't normally hold, but, but being generous in our response with them. Jesus calls us to lots of things in specific circumstances. And you know, it's just challenging. It is challenging to love our neighbor who is not very lovable. It's challenging to be patient and kind and demonstrate goodness all the time. There are things that are going to challenge us, us, challenge us. And like with Peter in this passage of scripture, you and I are called to step out of the boat, to step out and start walking. Not knowing where our walk, our next step is going to take us but only knowing that it is Jesus who leads us. And that's enough. Oh, for sure, I would love to know where the road ends. You know, when I step out in faith, I'd love to know what every step is. But what we know the promise we have is that Jesus is walking with us, that Jesus is guiding us. I'm going to talk this weekend about, um, well, at least at, on today, I'm planning on Sunday to talk about our transition process. And I think this is very much it with Peter. For us as a congregation in transition, step out in faith. We don't know where everything's going to lead, but we do know that Jesus is guiding us. Jesus is leading us and Jesus is at the end of our next step. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, thank you that when you call us, you're there with us. 
that we're not left to ourselves, that faith isn't just all of our own strength and power and our own doing, but that you're leading us and guiding us, helping us, encouraging us, and like with Peter, calling us to get out of the boat and to take a step. Help us this day to be your faithful followers. In your name we pray, Jesus. Amen. Thanks for being with me. I hope this, this uh, devotion is encouraging for you, and uh, I hope to see you on Sunday.